Hi everyone, welcome back to Stoactive. Today, we're focusing on two EMOMs. First one, we're gonna go solely upper body. Second one is focusing purely on our lower body. Okay, so let's just start with some little warm-up movements. Just moving our hips from side to side, twisting your upper body. Good, shake your legs out. And then we're gonna rotate through our hips. Halfway there. And rotate through our hips. Okay, so the first exercises we're gonna go through are press up. Then we're gonna go into a pike press up. And then we're gonna do a toe touch, okay? So our pike press up, we're in a press up position. We drive our hips up to the sky and then we press. Okay, we're gonna do 10 rounds of this. So, work as hard as you can and let's see how we get on. First round, so we're doing five press ups. And then we're going into our pike press up. So I'm coming into a downward dog position, pressing. There, pressing. So I'm just driving my hips up to the sky. Good. And then I'm going into my toe touches. Halfway there. Good. Right. A little bit jumpy through that first one. But hopefully now we get into it, we'll, uh, we'll be able to feel a little bit more in control. So, our timer's here, so you can see how long we've got left. 10 seconds till we go again. So you're gonna set up in your press-up position, five press-ups. Five press-ups with that pike in the middle, and then we're going into our toe touches. Nice. Then hips up, down. Good, and then straight into our toe touches. So really working our upper body here, focusing all of that intensity through our shoulders and through our abs. If, if we're really struggling with the press-ups, drop down to your knees, just do your 10 press-ups on your knees. Don't worry about the pike part. Don't worry about that downward dog position. Just focus on banging those press-ups out and then straight into our toe touches. You'll need to go up onto your, uh, onto your toes for that one. That's absolutely fine. Okay, we're ready to go again. Couple of seconds. Get straight into our pike position. So this is really gonna focus that intensity through my shoulders, through my chest. Really help develop that intensity or that stability through my shoulder. Halfway there. Halfway there, good. Third round done. Shoulders are starting to feel like they're working already. Only seven rounds to go though, so that's good. So, if you need to take your little breather, that's all good. Focus on hitting those numbers. Grab a little drink. Let's go. So, our five press ups. Straight into our pikes. And then through to our toe touches. So we're really working through these. Oh, really working. Halfway there. Woo. Hopefully we should be feeling a bit warm. Gonna get some serious pump on through your arms and through your chest. This is perfect, perfect little exercise before you head to Stobucks, which is where I'm working out at the moment. But Saturday evening, 10 sets of this. That t-shirt will be feeling tight. Good. 
Good, just keep driving through. Keep driving through. Push those hips up into the sky. Create that space and touch, 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 touch. Halfway there. Nice. Halfway through. Five more rounds to go. Hopefully, should be feeling like our shoulders are working. Nice tension through there. This part of the pectoral tendon that attaches to our shoulder should really feel like it's working. Wonderful. So, as we get deeper into the round, you'll find you just get less and less rest. But you just got to keep working. Just keep getting through it. Keep driving. Make sure that intensity stays at the level that you're happy at. If you need to rest in between the reps, absolutely fine. So you need to do your five press-ups. Quick little breather, straight into your pike press-ups. Little breather, and then before we do our toe touches, just keep working through it. Oh, we go again. Starting to feel that working now. Chest starting to get weak even through those five press ups. Good. Oh. Three more rounds to go. That's it. Three more rounds to go. As you're resting, you can just open up through your chest like this. It's going to help improve the blood through, flow through those muscles, help you rest and recover a bit more. Let's go. Just keep working. Wow. It's amazing how quickly that creeps up on you and the intensity through those press-ups. Two rounds to go though. Got what? 20 press-ups left. Oh, starting to slow down a little bit. Hopefully you guys aren't at home. Just keep working through it. Oh, serious pump on after this. Serious pump on. Okay, what we got? Two more rounds. Two more rounds. Nice. Just keep driving those hips up. Good. You've got to really control through your abdominals to hold that position and engage through your abs. And that's where we build that intensity. We're just firing reps through the same exercise, really helping build up that lactic acid retention. And it will just make our chest just grow that a little bit more. Feel that intensity. Last one. Last round. Good. 
Good, once you're done, you're done with this. Then we have a little rest and we work on to our next round of exercises. Right. Woo! Upper body done. Okay. We're going to move straight on to our lower body EMOM. Okay. We're going to do a glute bridge, a squat, and a calf raise. So, glute bridge, five reps. Squat, five reps. Calf raise, 10 reps. Okay. Let's just reset the timer. Let's drop it down to 10. Okay. Cool. Right, so, five glute bridge, five squat, five, five calf raise. So we're starting on the floor. Feet into our hips, all the way up, five reps, we're then standing up, dropping into our squats, and then we're going straight into our calf raise, so drive your heels off the floor, engage through your calf, and we're just doing ten of these. Keep yourself up nice and straight. Keep that tension through your abdominals. Just 10. Okay? And then we prep for the next round. Tear five glute bridge. Five squat. Ten calf raise. Boom, boom, boom. What? Nine minutes left. Then we're, then we're done. So you just got to get through those movements. Keep focusing that attention. Especially these glute bridges. Peel your spine off the floor. Squeeze with your glutes at the top and engage your abs through here. Five of those. Then we get up. We drop down into our five squats. Good. And then straight into our calf raises. Good. Really focus that attention on contracting your calf at the top of the movement. Halfway there. And we'll find we're just trying to work those muscles. We're just trying to get them to work for us. Okay? Two rounds done. What's up next? You know it, glute bridge. Whew! At least the intensity has gone away from my shoulders now. So my shoulders feel like they're almost back to normal. <laughs> Good. Peel that spine off the floor. Drive your hips up. Two. One. Straight up onto your feet. Feet shoulder width apart. Toes slightly turned out. Sink. And up. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Hopefully, your squat's getting deeper. If you've joined every single session with me so far in the last couple of weeks, we should be hammering that squat now. Squat should feel comfy. So, chest up, chin up, boom, just sit down as low as you can. And if you can get a little bounce out the bottom, that means our glutes and our hamstrings are having to work to fire ourselves back up. Right, three, three reps down, I think. Yeah, three done. Seven to go. Nice little energy buster. For, for this, this afternoon. <sighs> Meaning, we don't have to feel guilty about being sat at our desk all day. Five squats, straight into our 10 calf raise. So really drive those heels off the floor. Try and aim to get as tall as possible. Nine, ten. Turns out I can't count and talk and try and look at everything else. So you make sure you're hitting your five, five, ten. And I'll aim to hit it as much as I can as well. But please don't message me in and say, oh, you only did seven. Because I'm a strength and conditioning coach, I can't count 
and also do as well. Two, three, oh, there we go. Four, five. So much easier when you count along with it. Sink down, drop down nice and low. Bounce out of the bottom. Four, oh no, four, five. Straight into our calf raises. Just grateful for this like little 20 second breather. Just lets you get enough oxygen in to then plow on through the next set. So, five done, halfway there, five to go. Five more minutes, that's all it is. Just five more minutes, it's easy, right? Just get it done. Good, drive those hips up, squeeze those glutes. Should feel your hamstrings working as well. Those five glute bridge, straight into our squats. Boom, down nice and low. I wanna see everyone getting as low as I can. I'm old now. You guys should be hitting depths like this, nice and easy. So, hip, uh, heels off the floor. Drive through those calf raises. Oh, we're slow this round. Hopefully you guys all stopped, finished, and you're resting. I've got to still work. One. Whew. Okay. Legs feel like they're working now. Four rounds to go. We are getting there. Set up ready for the glute bridge. Heels nice and close. Drive those hips up. Squeeze those glutes. Four, five, nice. Straight into our squats. Feet shoulder width. Boom, bounce out the bottom. Arms out in front just to help you balance. Weight wants to shift back so it's on the mid part of your foot, close to your heel. Bring your feet a little bit closer together. Drive up onto your toes. Focus on that balance. Get those heels off the floor. Squeeze through your calf. Little movement this. We're just trying to focus that intensity on our calves. Just trying to work that muscle and try and just build up some resilience. Especially if a lot of us are out running a lot more, okay? Because we're out running, pounding the pavement, something we're probably not that used to. Make sure we're just working that calf movement and just trying to build some intensity through that area. And same as through our hamstrings and our glutes. Exactly the same. Area that's often neglected and we end up getting tired and just picking, picking up little niggles, little injuries here and there as a result. Good, straight into our calf raises. Really drive that home. Heel up as high as you can. Chest up, chin up, drive. Get that movement going. Two rounds to go. Two rounds to go. This is it. This is it now. Really focus this intensity. Make sure we're working hard. Hopefully you're all still with me. Hopefully you're still with me. Hips up. Two, three, four, five. Up we get. Straight into our squats. Down. Nice, five, and then into our calf raises. Halfway there. Last round to go, last round to go. Come on. We're almost there. One more round, been a tough Thursday. But, exit out tomorrow. And we're going to do a really, really short, sharp session tomorrow. We're going to do a Tabata session, which is going to be awesome, and you've got to come and join it. It's like my favorite thing ever. 
Hips up. Last round. Good. Five of those glutes. I want to make sure that these five squats are the best five squats you've done all day. Get down low and up. And then really focus those calf raises. We're there. Good. Last 30 seconds of you to work. Make sure you get all of those reps done. All of those reps done. Whew. Nice. Let's shake our legs out. If you're still going, get it done. Finish it off. Make sure we hit those numbers. Whew. Whew. That one felt good. Oh, getting to the end of a really long week, obviously. So proud of you guys for being here every day up until Exiat. Really big job. Okay, let's just open up through our hips. I'm going to do three out and then three in. Whoa. Hopefully you won't lose your balance as well. Three out and three in. Whoa. Almost lost it again. Okay, shake the legs. Just hands on hips. Just going to fire our hips from side to side. Good. Stretching up to the sky. All the way up. Just open up through your spine. Just stretching left to right, left to right. Really open up through. And we're just going to hang into this position. If you can grip your hands underneath your toes, even better. And then let your arms hang. Good, we're gonna come all the way up. Just gonna swing our shoulders through, forwards and backwards. Oh, a little wobble from side to side. Shake everything. Boom, you are done. I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be awesome. You cannot miss it. Tabata, we're going to do one upper body, one lower body exercise. They are four minutes each. That's it. So we're going to do eight minutes of work, but it will be the best eight minutes you've done all week. Promise you. Look forward to seeing you there. Cheers, guys. Bye.